can see, I can see the cross. Looking up the hill, I can clearly see my Savior die for me. Then I have to wonder just what it is you ever saw in me that was worth his coming to birth, worth the sacrifice made for me. Sometimes in the night when I close my eyes I can see I can see the lost standing before the throne waiting to be judged I can hear someone say to me how come you never told me about the blood that Jesus shed for me you never told of a second birth You never told what the Lord had done for you Now when I'm on my knees In prayer to the Lord I always ask For His help Help me, Lord, to listen Spirit as he leads, help me, Lord, not to fear. Never again to miss the chance to tell someone about your love. Never again to miss the chance to tell what you have done. Howdy folks, well, back to working on the trailer again, back here in Glendale at my sister's. We've been having a great time, meeting a lot of wonderful people, having a good time out in the, in the desert, going uh, on long trail rides with the family and friends, on the side-by-sides and the rangers, and a lot of fun. Some videos are gonna be coming out, some more of those. But I'm back on trying to get these cabinets all together. So I made myself a template. This is the angles that these cabinets have to be at. Now I did found a boo-boo. When I put this wall back here in, I went off the seam here where the floor planks joined together, assuming that they were square. And he's a little off. So I'm probably going to have to unscrew this wall and give it a little tweak. When this is all squared up the way it needs to be, I'm hitting down at this end and I got a big gap down at this end. So that tells me that wall is a little bit off. So uh, I might have to remedy that. It won't, it ain't bad. It's only a few, uh, one, two, three screws in the top, three screws in the floor, and then trim a little bit, whatever, off the ends uh, to make it slide back a little bit more. But anyhow, angle, perfect there. Will be perfect over here. This side's not put together yet over here. I got each individual cabinet is hooked together here. 
through these two tops, all the straights. There's one, two, three, four, five straight cabinets that got tied together. So it's all one unit to start with. So this is the sink cabinet. This is the sink drawers. This is the refrigerator cabinet. These are this spice drawer, and cooking oil and stuff like that. So all those have been fastened together top and bottom. So now it's to get the, the angle. So to do that, let me show you. I got one done. I'm gonna turn you around, but I'll keep you there going that way. If you look, I got these angles here coming across underneath the big one here that ties it all together, top and bottom. So this whole cabinet, you know, is all one solid unit with the correct angle. I'm getting ready to do this one. So, you know, pinch the needle nose at the top, put my template down on the floor and match that angle. And I'll do the same thing. Made up all my little, my little things. These actually will go, see, up under here. Up under here. It'll get drilled and tapped down through, just like these ones are. Front, back, top, bottom, that'll be secure. And then onto that side over there, and then onto that cabinet there. Then this will all be one unit, solid, bolted together, Another thing I'm running into, like Bill, you know, Bill says all the time when I ride tiny house, folks, these are cargo trailers. <laughs> but I was thinking that with a plank floor, a nice flat, you know, it's symmetrical, flat planks, right? This floor should be flat. So this is what I'm running into. I don't know if you see this, but that is, a half inch from where the wall is to where the front of this cabinet is right in here these two planks are in there like this I don't know if uh, one of the support beams were a little higher or maybe the thickness of welds but something did not get and it runs all the way down through I had the same issue back at the uh cell machine cabinet in the upper uh, linen cabinet by that door same thing it's humped up so that gonna be some shimming going on same thing with back here of course the walls aren't exactly plumb square this angle ain't exactly you know the 22 and a half that all this is like this template is all right, if it fits in the bottom, it's a little off up top. So that means, you know, something's not. So I'm gonna get as close as I can, move the wall wherever I gotta move it, make it work. And then I'm building the, decide I'm gonna do a countertop, make it out of pallet wood, butcher block style, made it out of pallet wood. Uh, it's gonna be nice, big work, but then that will be cut to fit or the backsplash. I'll put a, a nice thicker backsplash to hide whatever gap that's probably going to be there. So, but, so we're up to, we are gonna go uh, back to uh, Morristown to State Trust Land. Uh, it'll be our last trip with the family and friends uh, four wheeling and hopefully I don't know you know we just had snow in Scottsdale last night we came out here to get away from the cold and the snow and guess what they're having here in the valley cold and snow you really want to get up to Colorado Springs don't know if it's going to happen um, Flagstaff just got another foot and a half of snow this weekend they've had three back-to-back -back storms and it's you know coming down to the valley you know it's crazy but they need it uh been a big drought for a long time so really wanting to get up to colorado springs to see the two of our grandsons and our daughter and her her boyfriend and um she's got a baby it's on the way 
but we'll check the roads and the weather. We just don't want to travel in snow. You know, if the roads are plowing is clear, we'll we'll give it a go. But we're on a time frame. We have to be back home at a certain date for you know medical things and appointments and so hopefully it works out. So pray for us, maybe you know things will work out for us. We can make it. If not, we'll have to push it till next fall uh but that's what we're going to do continue on. i want to get these cabinets secure temporarily secure because i really can't close this up until i get my slam latch doors done that's not going to be done on the road it's too involved with cutting through the walls and something goes wrong and i want to be stuck you know uh so at least have them here. I get them secured down to the floor where they belong. So as we're traveling, plus we can put the stuff that belongs, like the sink. I'll put the box under the sink. You know, move the refrigerator over here where it belongs, and it's going to be on a slide-out uh, tray. And up as high as we can get it to just clear the bottom of this frame, so we don't have to bend over so much. Planes overhead, and all these bottom cabinets. All these are going to be full drawers that slide out. It's going to have two shelves in it, maybe three on the spice rack, two on like cooking oils and stuff like that, the bigger container stuff. Same thing with these, it's going to be slide out cabinets. This sink is going to be um, probably the only set of fold out doors. Uh, this cabinet here next to the sink will be three drawers this cabinet will be three drawers same thing with these we just don't want cabinets that we have to get down on our hands and knees to look for anything so this one here i ain't mine i may make that just to pull out too and just like put some dividers in there just where you can put stuff down in there so we're still working getting things done uh i pulled the plywood off this wall once i realized it was probably going to have to be moved um and i'll probably have to just use this wood i was going to put a half inch back there uh make it easier to mount these upper boxes like we did above the bed but down here i might just use the thinner stuff and it seems to be lining up better that way um until this is solid put together push it back in there it'll tell me really if i have to move either side of this wall in or out to make it square, you know, square. Um, that's what we're working on. Thanks.